Atomic Beam Lantern as seen on TV and uh, I got uh, actually two of these there was a offer to get one for $20 or two for $30 and I went ahead and got two of them and overall I'm happy with the lantern um, but uh, what I wanted to make you aware of is it's it's a good lantern it's extremely bright um, when you with it has brand new batteries I mean it's like daylight very bright but the uh, brightness does diminish fairly quickly as the batteries wear down and kind of stabilizes to a point uh, where it's still pretty pretty bright and pretty good so overall I'm happy with it but um, just be aware that the brightness is not very long lasting with the batteries um, now you can see that it's, uh, I think it, it seems fairly well made to me. It has magnets on the bottom. Uh, the magnets are strong enough to hold it. Let's put it up on a, a metal surface up here. Okay, and it's strong enough that I can pull the light on and it'll stay connected. But as far as the brightness, let's do a little benchmark on this. Well, I'm going to be installing some brand new batteries right fresh from the store. And we're going to see how bright it is. Now, I have a light meter that I downloaded, a light meter app I downloaded for my Android. And it's not calibrated. So I can only show you the relative brightness. So I, I don't know how accurate the actual numbers are. But it'll give you an idea of how long it does stay bright for and how bright. So it's dark outside and um, I'm in a bus here and uh, it's very bright with this light on in here. Would be pretty close to pitch dark without it. And you can see um, from my meter what the brightness is showing. Um, I'm gonna just leave it running for a while and we're going to see how long it stays bright for how long. So you can see uh, on my meter it's showing 79 lux uh, whatever that means I have no idea really what that means I know it's a measure of light but you know other than that I have no idea. And now you can see this is one hour later you can see that the uh, number of lux has gone down quite a bit in an hour from uh, 79 to 21. Okay and uh, Two hours later, the number of lux has gone down to eight. Four hours later, down to four. So you can see that it starts off very bright and slowly decreases uh, quite quickly, and then it kind of levels out. So let's just take a look at this. Now this is several weeks later. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I've been using it quite a bit. Many hours of use. Um, I haven't kept track. Let's see what the light meter says now. And you can see we're about at uh, 1 lux. And it's it's definitely not dim. Um, you know, it's not where I would change the battery. So, what's the conclusion? Well, you know, it does what I want. I didn't buy it because I wanted a super bright lantern. You know, if you want a fairly well-made lantern, LED lantern, um, you know, it is what it is. Um... But if you had your heart set on super bright lantern, you know the laws of physics are what they are. There's only so much um, electricity you're going to get out of the batteries that are fit in here. But one idea I had, and I might do this someday, I don't have time right now, but you know what would be really cool is take this, this battery pack and you could get a DC to DC converter to convert, say, 12 volts down to 5 um, this has got three batteries in it, which is four and a half volts. 
Um, can it handle 5 volts? You know, I don't know. You put a resistor in there and step it down a little bit. And uh, anyway, a, digi a DC to DC converter. And then hook up a uh, lighter outlet to this. A car lighter. And then you could plug it in to a 12 volt battery. And you would have a super bright light that would last quite a long time. So someday I will do that. And if and when I ever do that, you can bet that I will make a video about it. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Check you next time. Later. Well.